Hi, it's Crafty Mama, and I'm going to do something I've not done yet on my channel. I'm going to color one of these adult coloring books, and it's called Living Wonders Color Art Coloring for Everyone. And I'm going to color, but you're going to see me do it in fast time, of course. And just for the fun of it, if you've never used one of these, I'm going to read you what it says on the back. Coloring isn't just for children. It has been proven to be also beneficial for adults, generating wellness and quietness, as well as stimulating the brain areas related to the senses and creativity. People across the globe are enjoying this simple form of art therapy by concentrating on a straightforward task and allowing you complete creative freedom. You will soon find your body and mind relaxing. Our intricate line drawings offer complexity to engage the adult brain, but also simplicity in that there are no rules or even guidelines. You are completely free. So apparently it's like therapy in a book and it five dollars I paid for it a whole heck of a lot cheaper than a therapist. <laughs> I'm just showing you a couple of pages out of here and I want to show you the one my daughter did for me. So here's the cool one that my daughter did for me. Isn't this neat? She used so many different colors. I think she did a really great job. I really like it. And I'm going to frame some of these for the fun of it or put some in my junk journal because let me see, how big is this book? This book is 11 inches by 8 and a quarter, but they do have tear out pages, and none of the artwork is on the other side, so in other words, it's blank on the back side. And this is the one we're going to do today, a doggy. Yay, let's get coloring. So here we go. I have begun to color and I am using my Crayola Twistables colored pencils. There are 18 colored pencils, various shades of pinks, greens, blues, a red, a black. I think there's a white too. A couple of purples, different shades of purple. And I have no plan here. I'm just trying to do it as quick as I can. Not for anything, but just so I don't think about it. I want to just do it without thinking about it. My only thought, if you want to say, was if I'm going to add a pink up here, let me add a little pink to the left, the right, down in the bottom, just so hopefully at the end it all kind of meshes out and they all kind of flow together and creates a really neat, colorful dog picture. And then I decided to bring out my Prismacolored pencils as well because there were colors in there that my... Crayola Twistables did not have, and I wanted a little browns and flesh tone and things like that on the dog. And again, um, the Crayola Twistables didn't really have any browns or anything, not the small pick that I had of them. And I'm just going in and filling in around, and the little teeny spots and surfaces, I'm just kind of dotting with color because they are really kind of tiny. Um, and I know it's not going to make a difference once I get it all colored in, uh, hopefully. <laughs> no, I believe it will all flow together just perfectly. And it's kind of neat doing this, uh, fast forwarding it, because as I'm creating it, obviously I'm not doing it this fast, and I'm not watching the video. So when I speed it up and watch it back, um, speed it up for you guys, it's kind of neat because I get to see myself create it really quick too, and it comes to life. So it's kind of neat to watch. And uh, as you can see, I'm just about done here. I've got a little more to do, and uh, this took me, I think, about 48 minutes. I only took a small coffee break, and by speeding it up, I think this video is only like five minutes or so, so that cut out quite a bit of time, and you get to see the finished doggy, and this, I believe, is an Airedale Terrier, that's the name, that's the type of dog it is. And look, look how nice and dark and colorful and rich in colors. And I think it came out pretty cool. Since I haven't done this in quite a while, I think uh, for not even thinking about it, just doing it, I really like how it came out. Look at all those rich, deep, wonderful colors of yellows and pinks and greens and purples and blues and oh my, oh my. But it's funny. I don't have, I have a little less light on it. It looks really dark. This is actually how it looks. But I put a little more light on the picture um, 
you'll see it in a second, and it looks like a whole different picture almost. It's just kind of cool the way that the light, see how light it is here? That's really neat too. It's really darker in color, but right here is how it actually is. But you get to see it both ways. I thought, hey, that's neat. Kind of like a trick of the camera light. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for spending time with Crafty Mama. I hope you have the most awesome day ever. Until next time, next video. Bye for now.